Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, also from my side, uh, welcome to the Scheffler booth uh, and the Scheffler press conference. Uh, my name is Chris Bäumelburg. I'm heading the uh, communications, marketing, and IR function. And it's, uh, as Mr. Wisman said, a good tradition that we kind of kick off the official events uh, at the uh, Detroit Auto Show. We have about 20 minutes um, for the presentation and uh, a little bit of Q&A. So without further ado, I hand over to Mr. Klaus Rosenfeld, uh, the group's uh, CEO of Scheffler. We have um, used the year 2016 to finalize our strategic development. We've also used it to refresh our branding, our appearance, as you see from the stand. I don't have the time to go through all of this, but what I want to convey here is this strategy, Mobility for Tomorrow, has four key elements, a vision and a mission, four focus areas that define where we want to play. You see here very prominently eco-friendly drives as one of these areas. You see urban mobility, interurban mobility, and also the energy chain. And then eight strategic pillars that define the strategic scope of action for the next years um, that um, complements this. And then last but not least, um, every strategy is only as good as its implementation. We have defined 16 strategic initiatives <coughs> that we will use to implement the strategy going forward. And uh, e-mobility is clearly one of them. Before I come to the more product-related aspects, let me quickly go through these eight strategic pillars. Uh, the first one says we want to be the preferred technology partner for our customers. Um, that is clearly the heart of our business as a tier one and tier two supplier. And here in the United States, uh, we can support this by um, a significant track record uh, with respect to PACE awards. We have been the winner of four PACE awards and we are uh, in the finals with two main products. One is the active roll stabilizer that you see here on display, a chassis product that is not only relevant for um, driving comfort, but it's also relevant for the whole new trend of autonomous driving um, that we want to be part of. Second is a one-way clutch is also here. It's an element from our transmission business. We are an automotive and industrial supplier, I said at the beginning. More importantly, we are a global company that enjoys local presence throughout the world. This is important for our customer business, but it's also the way we want to manage this. We want to be a good local partner to our customers and suppliers. And here in the United States, we have five R&D centers and uh, these R&D centers are part of a global web of R&D centers that um, our chief technology um, officer, Professor Gutzmer, runs across the globe. And we are very happy that more than 200 patents were filed in the Americas in 2016. We are a supplier that produces components and systems, and we have um, decided that we'll continue to do this. We are uh, in particular good with our components, but we think that the know-how that we have there needs to ex be extended into systems. We're doing this since many years, and therefore this fourth strategic pillar reads, we produce components and systems. What does it mean? Components expertise here in the United uh, uh, States saved 50, million of actual, 50 millimeters of actual space when we integrated this into a hybrid system. This is just an example that you can only achieve these um, complex systems and uh, customer solutions that excel if you understand how the um, systems are composed of and if you understand the um, components. Fifth, five, number five, uh, is very much about the future. We view e-mobility, industry 4.0, and digitalization as the key opportunities for the future. Um, and uh, this is a broader theme. It's not only e-mobility. The twin brother of e-mobility in the industrial space is industry 4.0 and digitalization clearly goes across. Uh, so this is clearly about the future. And I'm happy to mention here that we presented for the first time our future mobility concepts at the uh, 2017 CES. Um, and we're also participating in the Auto Mobility D uh, exposition here in um, Detroit. Uh, if you want to go there, we are demonstrating a biohybrid as a new um, future mobility solution. While we are looking into the future, we are always uh, receptive of our um, base, of our where we're coming from, and that is clearly 
quality, efficiency, and delivery performance. So our aspiration clearly is to continue that into the future. We strive for the highest possible quality, efficiency, and delivery performance. And uh, I'm happy to say here again, a successful year 2016 with more than 40 global quality awards um, for Scheffler Group. We want to be an attractive supplier. Um, and this is uh, exemplified by the fact that we have, again, 150 students attending uh, here um, and coming to our booths. What is different to last year uh, is that we see more and more interest from not only from mechanical engineers, but from software engineers, from, electric, from electrical engineers. And that shows that people are more and more following our uh, activities into the e-mobility world. And last but not least, Mr. Scheffler, you are here. Um, we live the values of a global family business. We are a family-owned company uh, while we are listed, and we are very proud that we have owners that support all of this in a uh, very um, successful manner. You also see the values displayed in this room. Um, we have decided to concentrate on four core values, uh, sustainable, excellent, innovative, and passionate. And passionate is sometimes the most important. We are passionate about technology and of what we want to achieve. And for this, it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, to understand the market and how this develops. Um, you may have seen our strategy brochure where we uh, gave you a base scenario. Uh, the base scenario was developed in February 2016. Since then, we have seen significant activities from our large customers, and that has given rise to a uh, change in this scenario. This is what we call our accelerated scenario. How do we uh, expect the world um, to develop in terms of global production volume and in terms of different powertrain solutions? Um, I start with um, 2020, um, sorry, with 2015, you see virtually no real impact from battery electric vehicles and a little bit of hybrid. When you extend this into the next 15 years, our view for this accelerated scenario is that we will see <coughs> about 30% of the 120 million cars produced uh, in 2030 as battery electric vehicles. We will see 40% hybrids, so combinations of battery uh, technology and combustion engines, and 30% uh, internal combustion engine cars. What does that mean if you look at this? It means that in future, we will have 70% of the cars with an electrified powertrain solution, but you can also read it upside down, or let's say bottom up, still 70% of the cars will have combustion engines. So we will address this by investing heavily into the electrification of the powertrain, and I will come to more details later on, but we'll also not neglect the combustion engine because we think it is vital to um, further develop this technology um, to make sure that we meet all these standards that the politicians and the standard setters will set us. The development here is highly uncertain, and um, we all know that uh, no one at the moment can really say how this is going to unfold. So the most important thing is to prepare for this now and be ready for the different scenarios. And this is some, nothing new for Scheffler. We said it last time here. We are preparing for this electrification challenge since more than 10 years. We started already around the year 2000. And meanwhile, we have developed a very good starting position with a broad product spectrum um, and broad product portfolio from mild hybrids through plug-in hybrids into the EV world. Um, we invested in the last years 500 million, one th more than 1,200 people employed globally. And what is new and what is a new information also for you, we are seeing very much increasing interest from our large customers. I'm proud to say that today we have six serious contracts for hybrid modules and EXLs that are well balanced across the different regions, both here in the United States, in Europe, but also very importantly in China. So we're making significant progress here in uh, preparing for this important development and we will continue to invest heavily into this area. And here are three examples now for the US market um, that are also on display and uh, that my colleagues will explain during this um, important fair. 
starting with, on the left-hand side, a mild hybrid solution, uh, a 48 uh, transmission drive accessory uh, offering with uh, 12 uh, kilowatt. Um, on the right-hand side, so to speak, the opposite, a um, solution for a, a pure uh, EV vehicle, um, a high-voltage EXO uh, that we are displaying here and where we are um, putting significant resources behind. And then in the middle, that's where we're very proud of, a hybrid module that um, is um, part of these uh, customer projects, um, the US project that uh, where we will see start of production in the middle of 2018, a uh, very important project for us and uh, hopefully a breakthrough for the um, um, electrification strategy. We're not doing, only doing this organically. I mean, we've always grown organically in the last years, but we have also started to um, add competence and broaden our scope by a small acquisition we did before year end. We acquired a 51% stake in Compact Dynamics. Compact Dynamics is uh, a high profile uh, e-motor development uh, specialist that we know since many years from our Formula E activities. They will clearly complement our strengths in this area with their superior electric drive know-how. We also started as part of this acquisition with the mother company, Semicron, a little corporation in the area of um, um, electro electronic know-how, electronic solutions for these alternative drive concepts. And we feel very good about this um, first step into broadening our um, competence and scope to become your preferred mobility solution partner for the future. All of this is not, all, is not possible without strong R&D, and particularly here in the North American market, we are very proud of our setup. Um, our current R&D centers are located exactly in the heart of um, the future e-mobility land and where all the autonomous driving uh, research happens. I mentioned CES, where we presented very successfully for the first time. I mentioned the um, connection and the engagement with the students. And uh, we think tapping into this future that is clearly electric, connected, and autonomous is uh, critical for us um, when we want to shape the future of mobility. That brings me, ladies and gentlemen, to my last page to summarize um, the key messages. Scheffler is a leading global automotive and industrial supplier with superior technologies. We have used the year 2016 to finalize our mobility for tomorrow strategy, uh, and that will position Scheffler for all the future trends. E-mobility and digitalization uh, are key opportunities for us complementing our strengths in the conventional powertrain areas. The little acquisition of Compact Dynamics and the cooperation with Semicron broaden our components in scope in these areas. And uh, here in the North American market, where we enjoy a strong comp uh, position uh, based on superior R&D, uh, we want to continue with this innovative product portfolio and uh, meet the requests of our long-standing customers. And that only works with a uh, continuous commitment to quality technology and innovation. Uh, that's why we are here. That's what we're known for. And these are the proven success factors for the future that will help us to shape the mobility for tomorrow. With this, I come to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention. And I wish you a very successful NIAS 2017. <clears throat>